Now opposition leaders will meet tomorrow at 9.45 a.m. So opposition plans to do a big meeting tomorrow before the House begins. Remember earlier in the day Rahul Gandhi has decided that he will speak in the Lok Sabha tomorrow. These are first signs of compromise after the President nudged all the parliamentarians to start the debate and not disrupt the House. These are first signs that the opposition is now relented and is now ready for a debate. We'll try and get you more details about the opposition meeting that is going to take place at 9.45 a.m. tomorrow. But that's the big news coming in from Parliament that uh, as the Lok Sabha stands adjourned for the day, now the opposition parties have decided that they will hold a big meeting tomorrow before the House convenes. Remember earlier in the day, BJP MP Sharad Kumar had also written a letter to the Lok Sabha speaker demanding a pay cut and allowance cut for those MPs who do not listen to the speaker's direction and those who storm in the well of the house. Vijay Lakshmi, my colleague, tracking the developments from inside the parliament now on the phone line. Vijay Lakshmi, a big meeting of opposition leaders slated for tomorrow morning. Uh, that's right. That's what we are learning from our sources, that opposition leaders will be meeting tomorrow at 9.45 a.m. inside the parliament. Remember, in this uh, session of the parliament, we've seen united opposition has been strategizing to corner the government, uh, not only inside the house, but outside also. They've been uh, talking about their strategy. So what we are being told that tomorrow's uh, for uh, what all uh, their strategy will be, they will be deciding, they'll be taking a decision on that in tomorrow's meeting. But today also we've seen uh, disruptions only in both the houses of the parliament. In lower house of the parliament, opposition demanded a discussion under Rule 184. And in the upper house of the parliament, also they've been demanding that how prime minister needs to come on the floor of the house and make an uh, and I should tender his apology for the kind of remarks that he's made. So uh, uh, it seems that opposition is uh, not uh, uh, opposition is uh, going to uh, you know continue with the kind of disruption that we've seen in last uh, few days. Uh, tomorrow also disruptions are likely to be there, specifically in the upper house of the parliament, uh, and uh, a lot, uh, and uh, we'll get a sense of what all will be happening tomorrow once that meeting will actually take place. Vijay, we saw all the 15 opposition parties uh, coming together in a huddle before the house uh, convened today. We saw leaders from the TMC, leaders of NCP as also Congress leaders joining that protest outside the Gandhi statue inside the parliament complex. What seems to be their strategy for tomorrow? Do we know as to how many parties will participate in this big meeting that is slated for tomorrow morning? Well, more than a dozen political uh, parties from the opposition will be uh, participating in that particular meeting that has been uh, called uh, for tomorrow. Uh, as far as today's protest is concerned, we've seen that how the leaders from the opposition, parliamentarians from the opposition, uh, more than a dozen political parties, in fact, did participate in that particular protest that did take place uh, today morning. Uh, so, well, TMC, Congress, Samajwadi Party, BSP, RJD, all these political parties uh, were there in today's protest and what we are expecting that all these political parties will be attending tomorrow's meeting and opposition will uh, chalk out its strategy to corner the government on the floor of the house uh, as we've earlier also discussed that how today also in both the houses of the parliament we've only witnessed disruptions uh, and uh, in lower house of the parliament opposition continue to demand uh, discussion under rule 184 and in upper house of the parliament they have been demanding the prime minister should come uh, on the floor of the house and uh, make a clarification on the entire uh, on, on the entire demonetization scheme. So, well, uh, it really remains to be seen whether uh, are we going to see uh, the, the deadlock that has been there in last a few days as far as parliament proceedings are concerned. Whether that will end after uh, this uh, meeting that will take place tomorrow. So, uh, for that, we'll have to wait till the time these meet uh, these leaders meet tomorrow and strategize what all will they be doing. Right, Vijay Lakshmi, thanks for tracking those developments. We'll keep coming back to you for latest as and when there is any update. Moving on in the bullet.